Hello and welcome to Good Life, the health show with me, Pooja. Well, this is a show that focuses on providing you with solutions to your health, related issues, lifestyle and much more. Well, viewers, organ dysfunction are a condition where an organ does not perform its expected function. So today, the topic which we have taken is organ failure. And to know more about this, we have with us Dr. Sasanka Kumar Borwa, who is an associate professor, Department of Urology and Renal Transplantation of Guwahati Medical College Hospital. So not to waste any more time, I'll straight away move to him and talk more on the topic which we have taken today. All right, Doctor, thank you so much for coming to thank our you. show, Good Life to Health show. And uh, the topic which we have taken today is uh, organ failure and uh, organ donation. So we'll talk more many things about uh, organ failure and all. But we will also touch upon the other urological problems. Sure. So, so let's start with organ failure. So if we need to know about organ failure, if our viewers need to know about organ failure, so yeah. how you will start up with? See, the human body is provided with the various important organs, starting from the brain, heart, lung, kidney, so on and so forth. And uh, this organ needs to function well for a healthy life. Mm. Now, there is a certain situation when these organs' normal functions are being interfered. Mm be it exposure to certain chemicals. For example, suppose a patient who is a chronic smoker, his lung may get damaged. Okay. A person who is a chronic alcoholic, his liver may get damaged. A person who is suffering from chronic ailments like diabetes or hypertension, his kidneys, heart, lung, everything, all organs including the nervous system may get damaged. And a time will come when this damage is non-reversal. That mm. means they cannot be reversed to the normal function. So we call it an end-stage organ failure. Okay. So this particularly happens uh, as I am a urologist, so I am more concerned about the kidneys. So the kidney failure is one of the most common form of organ failure worldwide mm -hmm. and uh, the kidney transplantation is the highest number of transplantation of any organ being done all over the world. Mm. So the people should take care of your health, take care of their organ concern, mm. they should be more active, they should do regular exercise, should be aware of their environment, should avoid unhealthy environment, should avoid unhealthy diet mm. and that is how they should take care of your health and over and above if they are suffering from any chronic ailments, they should take regular medication. Regular medication and immediately should come out and uh, take the proper diagnosis yeah, yeah, that's, that's so that sure. the treatment can be started at the earliest. Earliest, yes, because okay. uh, once the particular stage has crossed. Hmm. So, it is very difficult for them or the treating physician to reverse the function and as a result the patient may end up with the organ failure. Alright, so organ failure, we I think the viewers must have got some idea about it and if you have any queries and it is coming in your mind, so we have our phone lines open and the numbers are flashed on your television screens viewers. So, queries, anything you need to ask about organ failure, anything related to urological problem or kidney related problem, you can please uh, call up. Doctor is in our studio and he will give you all the answers. Alright, doctor coming back to you again. So, I think uh, organ failure is uh, much talked about yeah. these days and uh, the mention, the causes you have mentioned about it, that are must, most of the basic causes which you have mentioned. So, yeah. if we talk about the main cause of uh, kidney uh, organ failure, so yeah. what would be that? The main cause, for example, it depends upon the which organ it is. Which organ but, it is. But uh, as you all know, there is a latest of late uh, in last 10 to 20 years, hmm. there has been a surge in incidence of diabetes and hypertension. And by 2025, India will become the diabetes capital of the world. Now, diabetes is a disease that mm. affects almost all organs. Right. If it is not under control, if the person suffering from diabetes neglect himself, do not take medicine as per prescription of the physician and do not take precautionary measures like uh, daily exercise and uh, say avoiding the sedentary lifestyle. Mm. That means the life, these are all lifestyle diseases. Lifestyle so diseases. almost all organs starting mm. from the heart, lung, kidney, liver, they are affected by these lifestyle diseases. Okay. So these are the main cause. Secondly is the hypertension or high blood pressure. Mm. That also causes damage to the kidneys as well as to the heart. Thirdly is the non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So mm. earlier it was the 
uh, chronic alcoholic cirrhosis that causes damage to the liver. But now a slowly emerging disease is the uh, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease that causes liver failure. I okay. think uh, most of the people or the viewers might have mm. heard about some of their known person or their relatives or near and dear one has gone for a liver transplant mm. or awaiting a liver transplant mm -hmm. or someone is awaiting a kidney transplant. Mm. So this is a very common phenomenon nowadays observed in our society and India or particularly in our state is no exception to it. All right. So is it a big deal that if a person is having a long, for prolonged uh, time, they are having a diabetes yeah. or hypertension and they have yeah. to take medicines in a regular uh, days. Uh, so is it like they have to stop in between or they have to go and consult any of their physician to have a check out that uh, is their diabetes in what stage and stage wise they have to go for the medicines. Yeah, definitely. They should not do self-medication, number mm -hmm. one, and they should not stop without medical supervision. Okay. So whatever the drug being prescribed, mm -hmm. at one point of time, that mm -hmm. drug may not be effective. So that drug may need to have changed, but that should be done by the physician concerned under whom the person is undergoing treatment. Mm. Uh, most of the time, the people, uh, I being a urologist, I uh, frequently encounter patients, my surgical patients, mm -hmm. they are almost having diabetes or hypertension, very common. Very common. Uh, once I ask them, uh, are you a diabetic or a hypertensive? They said, no, uh, I had had diabetes, but now it is under control. I'm not taking medicine. The moment I ask for go for the test, and it will come as 300, 400 blood sugar. Mm -hmm. So that's how the organ failure starts with. Okay. So the person, uh, does the person get an idea that uh, what kind of like uh, uh, signs and symptoms or do they get any signs and symptoms that they will come to know that the medicine which they have stopped in the between or the medicines has to be changed? Yeah. Yeah, there, there may not be any sign and symptom, but mm. obviously if they go for regular blood sugar checkup, mm -hmm. regular blood pressure checkup, mm. definitely uh, that will show some increasing trend mm. in the level of the blood sugar. So that is uh, alarming mm. for the patient and he or she should immediately seek medical intervention, should consult with his physician and then take advice accordingly. All right. We have seen in our society, doctors, like uh, unless and until you have uh, gone through some kind of disease, you go for test and yeah. then only you come to know that you might have detected with a diabetes or hypertension. Yeah. So this is one kind of notion we have seen in every society and every uh, household. Yeah. So what do you suggest to them that you should have a regular interval of uh, checkups and uh, also intervals of your body checkups of yeah. your family members as yes, well? Yes, definitely. Uh, one should check their blood sugar, blood pressure. Which is very basic it's and very, very basic, common. Basic common thing. Uh, they mm. can uh, go to any lab and mm. get it done by themselves also mm. or can take help of a physician also. And over and above, living a healthy life mm. is a important duty. And I think it is not the duty of the government or the duty of the uh, physician or the doctors to make them aware. It is the duty of the person himself. Yeah. He should commit to his own health. Mm. He must be committed to his own health. So he should think about his health. He should remain healthy for that act living an active life. Active life means he should should not live a sedentary lifestyle like uh, living in a AC chamber again, going by AC car again. There is no walking, no running, nothing at all. Mm -hmm. He should be active. So physical one. activity at this uh, time is very important, yeah, very important. and uh, dietary factor is another yes, important dietary. factor to be taken care of. Yeah. And I'm sure the viewers who are watching our show must be benefited because Lee, we are having a fruitful discussion on organ failure. What are the things that can hamper your lifestyle and what are the things you should not take up in your and you should not include in your lifestyle? so that you should lead a healthy life there, isn't it doctor? So yeah. what are the other things you would like to touch upon? Uh, secondly, the habitual smokers. Hmm. Now, any form of tobacco, hmm. the consumption of any form of tobacco, the be it uh, uh, say smoking or chewing tobacco or just like you know, the commonly available good cars and the seekers and all, all, those, hmm. uh, all those things, those are very bad things and they have deleterious effect on the every organ in okay. our body. So I think uh, I uh, must uh, uh, request uh, rather appeal through your media to the viewers that you should avoid consuming alcohol number one, hmm. number two avoid consuming any form of tobacco All like right, very cigarettes. Important yeah, yes. cigarettes. They also influence the function of an organ mm -hmm. and it affects almost all organ of the body. Okay, so we have also seen uh, many kinds of like uh, nowadays uh, awareness campaigns have been taken up, yeah. awareness rallies have been taken up uh, by the hospitals and yeah. also doctors and many a uh, group of doctors uh, like you. So uh, those kind of awareness in our society is nowadays very important. Yeah, very important because people should be aware of what is going on in and around and what are the diseases those are recognized as the number one killer disease in our society. Mm -hmm. So now diabetes, it is now coming up. 
it is coming up mm. it's a, in a big way mm. not only all over the world in assam also right. we have seen lot of people suffering from diabetes even at the tender age of 20 10 years yeah earlier we used to see in the age groups of yeah, uh, elderly people elderly. but nowadays we have seen in very tender age yes very tender age and mm. uh, incidents of cardiac uh, failure mm. heart failure heart attacks are more common now younger age group mm -hmm. and those are the age which are productive years of life and if we loss one of the person it's a loss of human resource and it indirectly affect the economy of the country mm -hmm. so therefore uh, we should be aware of it and should lead a healthy life right okay so there must be uh, like what happens if uh, there is a multi uh, multiple organ failure so doctor will come back to that question okay. uh, we have a phone call so let's take the phone call okay. first uh, hello uh, hello uh, more question is asked there more about the virus actually my father in law 72 years old teo mane prostate gland to etia khub beshi hoyse alert hoyse mane etia ano doctor mane treatment kori ase etia to operation korile bhal hoy jabo ne ar mane kiba belak upay ase kintu teo pain hoyse puri ase ek karone kothi ko bisari थैंक यू अपना प्रश्न तो खुदसे मैं उत्तर दी आसो फादर इन लस्टेट ग्रंथी आज प्रस्टेट ग्रंथी प्रत्येक पुरुषरे आज मूत्राशय और मूत्रदार संलग्न स्थान प्रस्टेट ग्रंथी तो अवस्थित और चल्लिस बस उधर हारे सको पुरुष प्रस्टेट ग्रंथी तो आकार तो बृद्धि है आज दस पंद्रह बस आगते प्रस्टेट ग्रंथिर आकार बृद्धि हम साधारण अस्त्रोपचार कर दस बस गवेषणामूलक विभिन्न धरण गवेषणार पास देखा गई है किसान ओषध प्रयोग करें नियंत्रण रख पारो गति के अस्त्रोपचार लगे ने नागे सीट एज मूत्रतंत्र विशेषज्ञ ऊर ले भलक कब पार कि मैं आपना कैसो जो साधारण अस्त्रोपचार कर लोकें जिस लोग जटिलता थे जैसे धरक बारे बारे पेशाब तो बंद हो जाए पाइप लगभग बारे बारे पेशाब तेज गई थे बारे बारे यूरिनारी ट्रेक इनफेक्शन होकेर मूत्रदार शिला हार्निया किडनी कटा विकल हर पथले गई से जो एने रोगी कि अस्त्रोपचार लगे मैं भाव अपनी आपनर शहुरक अनति पलम एज मूत्रतंत्र विशेषज्ञ ऊर ले जाओ फिजिकल एक्जामिनेशन कर बहुत समय चाँ अक प्रस्टेटर आकार तो बृद्धि हमें ना आम हाथेरे प्रस्टेट ग्रंथी तो चुई चाँ तर घन चाँ के क्यों तक किसान आन आन रोगो तार भर लुक पे क्वालिटी प्रोग्रेसिव state and so there is, is no point of return yeah no point of return and okay. at this point of time uh, very rarely this patient recovers even they are in under intensive care so the chances are very less uh, chances are very less okay because it has affected the entire organ maybe yeah. the, more most so, of the organs yeah. have been affected more so if the patient has uh, the diabetes hmm. because diabetes is a condition uh, at that 
that slowly and gradually destroys almost all organs of our body. All right, so we can say that diabetes nowadays has become a major concern, major concern. for every people out there because yeah. like it has been seen in a very tender age. So one has to take care a lot and nowadays lifestyle, we have to, we can't blame the lifestyle because that lifestyle we have adapted ourselves. Yeah. So it is our responsibility to change our lifestyle. We should have a healthy lifestyle and there are lots of basic things which can be implemented yeah. at home. Yeah, uh, most important thing is that uh, the lifestyle changes apart from exercise or apart from uh, uh, living an active life hmm. one should be stress free stress free so earlier when we heard when we were children we heard that someone's father is having diabetes so the, naturally the son will also have diabetes but this is not the case nowadays now. the, the scenario has totally changed hmm. nowadays if you have too much of stress anxiety so uh, you, you might suffer from diabetes. Oh, no is it can so? So if, yeah. uh, if your person is suffering from a lot of stress yeah, and stress, anxiety, so yes, that, yes, that is another cause of, okay. uh, and uh, the hypertension is must. Mm -hmm. That is almost always related to the diabetes, higher blood pressure. So for these kind of information, Alisa, some, such kind of awareness is very important to viewers because like uh, if uh, you are aware about the things like, like we just got to know that from stress and from also from the lifestyle which we are leading, if it is giving us a stressful life, then that can also lead to diabetes. So nobody would have known yeah, these things. So yeah. maybe they must have always thought the notion which every household is having that if we have a lot of sugar yeah. or if we have a lot of like carbohydrate, then yeah. that affects are and, and it uh, leads to diabetes. Secondly, the diet. Hmm. The diet which we consume hmm. in day to day life. Now, the fruits or the vegetables hardly we consume. Hmm. We are more inclined to the, uh, the commonly available junk foods. So, junk foods once in a while, okay, it's fine, but not always. Okay. So, every day consuming junk foods which contains high amount of salt hmm. that has got deleterious effect on our body and also the metabolic activity of the body that in that way also it can affect our body, it can affect our heart, it can affect our kidneys hmm. and may lead to organ failure. Okay, so what you're saying is that in short if we can say that uh, one has to keep a check on their diabetes because yeah. that leads to other kind of diseases and the major problem which will be arising is that organ failure. Yeah. So that we were talking about and multiple organ failure is interrelated if it is yeah. like affected it, to one organ. It's a different organ. situation when mm. all organs uh, get damaged and mm. it's linked to one another and ultimately the patient lands up in intensive care in it. Mm. So what happens like when organs are shutting down doctor, what happens to the patient? So the, when organs are shutting down, depending on the, other yeah, the, the chances of survival is very blink. Hmm. Now, at this point of time, we will have to decide whether the other organs have failed or it is the brain which hmm. has only failed. Hmm. Because that concept hmm. of brain death is very important hmm. considering the transplantation from a disease organ donor is concerned. Because okay. uh, as we all know, most of the people are dying because of the want of organ. Mm -hmm. There are many people in Assam, all over the world, India, who are waiting for organ to be transplanted. Mm -hmm. But they don't have a donor of their own. Okay. They don't have the near and dear one or the relatives who can donate organs to save their life. Mm -hmm. So they have to wait for the people who are declared brain dead in the ICUs. Okay. Mm -hmm. So brain dead is a newer concept. Mm -hmm. So that brain dead means particularly uh, a person who met with an accident. Okay. He is brought to the ICU, he is on a ventilator, his heart, lung and all organs are functioning mm -hmm. but his brain is literally dead. Oh. So that is the moment when his relative can decide hmm. that he is no more coming back to us. Mm -hmm. That is the moment. It's a very pathetic situation, mm -hmm. I can tell and you. Very important uh, only the family who faces this. Yes, and they sometimes, have to decide. Sometimes in India, leave about the uh, the Western world in India also, particularly in southern countries. Now the people voluntarily they come mm -hmm. and inform the physician mm -hmm. that we would like to donate the organ of a deceased person who is on brain dead. Okay. So that person can save at least minimum eight to nine life. Mm -hmm. Because the two kidneys can go to two person, mm -hmm. the liver can give in to one person or two person, mm -hmm. then his lung can go to one person, heart can go to one person, he can donate his cornea, he can donate his skin, he can donate his bone, everything. That's a very important decision a family member yeah, will family have to members. take at that point in time. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that situation gives a lot of like courage to the family members to take those decisions. Yeah. But uh, if it helps the other people, then that yeah. will give a very sigh of relief. But uh, before them. that also, hmm. one can place organ. Okay. 
one can play you me everyone can play organ mm -hmm. anybody as far as the transplantation of the human organ act government of india is concerned anybody above the age of 18 years who can take his own decision mm -hmm. can play his organ donation and it's a very easy job you can go to the website of the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Mm -hmm. You can go to the website of the Roto Guwahati, that is Regional Organ and Tissue Transplantation Organization. Mm -hmm. Or you can visit because it is uh, situated within the premises of the Guwahati Medical College. Mm -hmm. If one can, if one wants to donate organ, he can go, collect the form, fill it up and place the organ donation. That means it is not like that ki, uh, organ will be harvested from him at any point of time. Mm -hmm. But at any point of time in future, if he met with an accident or if he is suffers from stroke hmm. and he lands up into ICU mm -hmm. and the doctors there declares him a brain dead, then his organ can be harvested, harvested. and transplanted to the other. But hmm. there is a but because okay. we have got a law in hand, mm -hmm. law of the land should be followed. Mm -hmm. At that point of time, his relative must also give consent to that, okay. although he has placed before. Mm -hmm. This is the law in India, but mm -hmm. the law in Spain is a different. In Spain, in other European countries, mm -hmm. there is an opt-out system. Mm -hmm. There is, ours is an opt-in. That means you voluntarily opt-in. Opt-in. Opt mm -hmm. There is an opt-out system mm -hmm. where if any person dies because of the brain death, mm -hmm. declared that his organs become a national property. Okay. It's a property of the government. Mm -hmm. So, naturally, he will become an organ donor. But in India, it's not like that because we have got lot um, mm -hmm. uh, many things we have got different yeah, lots of procedures diversity. are also yeah. there yeah, yeah. like lots lot of, of procedures, procedures yeah, because yeah. like uh, that was my next question to you like how important and how is time important at that point in time when a person is in need of an organ yeah. organ is available yes. and there are lots of procedures to be taken yeah. up but uh, the operation has to be done in a very uh, yeah. time frame yeah within a very time frame because yeah. the organ has got a life yeah suppose I'll give you an example suppose a person has been hmm. declared brain dead in Lakhimpur hmm. And the facilities of the organ transplantation is available at the Guwahati Medical College Hospital. So, their uh, relatives have decided uh, we are going donating two kidneys at least. Mm -hmm. Then the kidney transplantation facilities and all other facilities are now available at Guwahati Medical College. Mm -hmm. Now, what happens? A team of organ retrieval surgeons will now move mm -hmm. from Guwahati with an uh, with an um, state of the art vehicle that contains and, uh, we everything have seen this that contains everything system yes, has also yes. opened up now for that hmm. number one the administration has to be involved hmm. the police has to be involved hmm. because the the car which will go that will go with the speed of more than 120 to 140 kilometers mm -hmm. because to carry, carry the, the particular organ to cover such a distance hmm. so the police has to know the what for this car is moving Hmm. So, they should be also aware of this organ donation procedure. The administration should be aware of the organ donation procedure. Mm -hmm. They will form a green corridor. That means mm -hmm. no one will move except that particular vehicle. vehicle they will go there, collect, bring it to the hospital and get it transplanted. Mm -hmm. so that can happen. Now, it is happening all over the world and it is happening in India, particularly in the southern state. And in Assam also, we mm -hmm. are trying to build the mechanism to do it. I think um, we'll be able to do it in a very near future. That's what, because like uh, the consent of family members yeah, is very important, very important as per uh, the law. And it is always uh, like if the person has willingly accepted that I will donate my organ. Yeah. But if the family member doesn't give the consent, then what? Yeah. That is what. Yeah. That is what I'm telling you. The operation in which normally do suppose a kidney stone surgery or a prostate surgery. It's a very mm. plain and simple. Patient comes, get hand into hospital mm. and uh, the operation in bank mm. being done within a week mm. but doing a kidney transplantation or a disease organ transplantation it's a tedious process because that needs to be involved mm. particularly the government the law there has to the the person has to sign the affidavit mm. why he is donating what for who is he what is the relation he has got with the uh, recipient okay and the uh, for in case of disease donation the forensic people should also be there mm -hmm. at a time of organ harvesting mm -hmm. as well as the person or the police nearby they should also be informed about that okay so everybody in the society has to work in a coordinated way mm -hmm. to make it happen in the state of Assam. It's mm -hmm. not the doctors, me, or it is not an NGO who is... Uh, it's the initiative uh, say, by yeah, everyone, everyone, so that everyone, the person everyone, everyone. gets the life by the yeah, prospect yeah. which is being yeah. taken up yes. by the doctors and as yeah. well as uh, it reaches on time and the operation it's, is done it's, successfully. It's the individual, it's the society, it is the NGOs, it is mm -hmm. the doctors who are concerned who are mm -hmm. doing transplantation, it mm -hmm. is the administration, the government, the police, all machineries has so to So it's work. a helping hand of like everyone. Yeah. So uh, we have 
have seen that it's a lot of like problem uh, occurs of organ shortage. So yeah. how to overcome those doctors? Yeah, organ shortage is a big, big issue. And mm -hmm. to address that, the government Like of some India, people, they willingly don't uh, want to donate yeah, it. Donate, and yeah. the uh, parents also, they back up and yeah, backstab. Back and, yeah. Most of the time, a uh, person suffers from organ failure. Suppose I'm giving you an example of the kidney failure. Mm -hmm. One of the relatives is suffering from kidney failure and mm -hmm. he's and stays renal kidney failure, hmm. but it cannot be reversed. Okay. Now he needs a transplantation. In hmm. between, he will be on dialysis. Dialysis hmm. is a temporary phenomenon. Damn. Ultimately, permanently, the person needs a kidney transplant. This is the definitive treatment. Now, his father and mother is too old to donate hmm. or they are not fit to donate. Suppose they are having high blood pressure or high blood sugar. Hmm. His brother or sister is not also coming up, willing to come up because they have got their own family members. Hmm. His near relatives is not willing. Neither do have he any, uh, say, uh, any well-wisher. We call it altruistic donor. Hmm. Means well-wisher, he may not be a, having a blood relation, but out of love and affection for a person, I can donate. That is called altruistic okay. donor. Mm -hmm. So nobody is there. Hmm. So what will happen to him? Hmm. He will have to wait hmm. on dialysis, on dialysis, and one day he will die. Ah. But that life could have been saved, saved. provided we have an organ. Hmm. Now, to address this issue, the Ministry of Health and Family Health, Government of India, hmm. has formed an organization called National Organ and Tissue Transplantation Organization, under which there are five regional organ and tissue transplantation organization. And we are fortunate to have one hmm. of us to look after the entire notice in the, within the premises of the Guwahati Medical College Hospital in Assam. Hmm. All right. So, do we are in tandem, we are working in tandem to develop hmm. a mechanism hmm along with the government of Assam mm -hmm. Health Ministry to set in place, and this is already in motion, mm -hmm. to set in place that uh, technology should also be here also, mm -hmm. so that we can also harvest organ from the person who is brain dead. Okay. Now, the, every hospital has been now given notification to submit the list of the person who, or a group of doctors called brain, brain dead committee. Dead. committee. It is not only the government hospital, mm -hmm. private hospitals also. Mm -hmm. They have already submitted the list. Mm -hmm. I think within uh, a very short period of time, the government will notify the brain dead committee mm -hmm. and that brain dead committee will have to examine a person in ICU mm -hmm. who is willing to donate his organ two times. Okay. The, this constitute four doctors of mm -hmm. different specialities they will examine they will examine and they will opine yes this person is a brain dead now he can donate organ so a committee has been formed to yes, look after yes, these yeah. things so they will after 6 hours again they will examine the patient okay. in the icu mm -hmm. again they will see his pulse blood pressure eye movement all other parameters mm -hmm. and again they will finally say yes this person is a brain dead mm -hmm. now the, this organ can be harvested from this person. Now, the, during the first inspection, the procedure begins with sending the blood for cross messing with the recipient. Okay. We have a list of the patients who mm -hmm. are waiting for mm -hmm. organ. Mm -hmm. So, the first come first basis, it's mm -hmm. uh, as far as the list. Mm -hmm. There should not be any interference by any other field. Because it's There's, a process yes, which is being done so the for first, quite time. So, on the first inspection by the brain dead committee, mm -hmm. the Blood test will be done with the recipient, cross messaging will be done, everything goes okay, final, okay, this person can mm. now donate kidney to this person. Okay. Now, he will be taken to the OT in the presence of the forensic expert because after, uh, suppose we take out the kidneys from the person, his mm. uh, medical, these are all medical legal cases because yes. most of them are road traffic accident cases. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, his autopsy has to be performed right down mm -hmm. there. So, there are lots of procedure, doctor, yeah. we'll come back to that and okay. we have uh, lots of like discussions to be taken of what after the yeah. person is uh, bought and the organ is brought in the hospital, what okay. are the things to do? Yeah. So, we'll talk about these after a short break. So, viewers okay. will have to slip into a short break, uh, but do come back soon because we have lots more on the other side. Welcome back, viewers. You're still watching Good Life, the health show with me, Pooja. And we are having indeed a fruitful discussion on organ failure and other urological problem. So if you have any queries regarding to ask to doctor, numbers are flushed on your television screens. So please call up and ask your questions. And uh, doctor is here in our studio to give you answers. All right, doctor, coming back to you, uh, you were talking about the organ which is to be reached to the 
proper destination yeah. where it has been need to. So what after when the organ is reached in the hospital? What are the other procedures? Like a lot of formalities is being done. A lot of done, formalities are to be done. Yeah, auto of been the person done. Yeah, yeah. from That's where the organ is taken. Definitely, definitely. The all rules and regulations which are being set in place by the government, mm -hmm. by the law and consent Consent by the family it. members yeah, and everything everybody. has to be done. Mm. And the most important thing is that once we have harvested the organ from a person, we have to be in constant touch with the relatives of the person. Okay. And it is our duty to first dispose the body mm. immediately for the cremation. Okay. So that is the things one should not forget because mm. uh, we got an organ, okay, go for transplantation, we mm -hmm. forget about the relatives, no, because they have done the great thing and service to the mankind, mm -hmm. the person who died. We must pay respect to the person who has mm -hmm. donated the organ okay. and then we can uh, materialize the next form of transplantations like whatever facilities are available for the kidney transplant, okay, kidney transplant can be done. Mm. Suppose the facilities for the heart transplant is not available in the particular hospital. Mm. Now that has to be informed to the National Organ and Tissue Transplantation Organization. Okay. So they will inform all injured. They have got a WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. so anyone need a heart, the mm -hmm. heart is available in Guwahati. Mm -hmm. So immediately the things will be set in place. Okay. That heart will be trans transported. Okay. It can so, be what about the time frame? Like, if it, have, yeah, it, has, it has to got be a limited time. Yeah, yes. that that machinery has to be set in place. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it may need a helicopter or a, mm -hmm. a small aircraft to mm -hmm. transport the organ from one place to another place. Okay. Because uh, uh, as of now, uh, we don't have facility of heart or lung transplant in Assam. Mm. Liver transplant, yes, okay, we have expert. And mm. kidney transplant, yes, we are doing regularly in Guwahati Medical College. Mm. So uh, that's not an issue for us. Mm. But uh, as far as the lung and heart transplant is concerned, mm. it's very in a nascent stage in the state of Assam. Mm. And I think um, in next one year, and that will also develop. Okay, so discussions are on. Maybe in the next one year, we will have those facilities yeah. also available so that people will have not to have to go outside yeah. and things will be available here and you will have a proper diagnosis and a proper treatment available in your city as on your doorstep. So doctor, uh, like uh, talking about the organ and the patient who has to be gone through the surgery. Yeah. So the person will, the one who will go, uh, go through the surgery. So what about that person? What about that patient? Uh, there, what kind of like a diagnosis or what kind of that checkup is done earlier to the organ transplantation? Now the thing, the person who died, mm -hmm. who is declared brain dead, mm -hmm -hmm. He will not undergo any form of scan, so like that. He will be in the ICU. Mm -hmm. he, we'll have to do some blood test, basic test. Basic because, test. Uh, for example, the test, uh, the blood test, confirming that he is not suffering from any uh, major communicable disease like HIV. Okay. That is very important. Mm -hmm. Of course, if the recipient is HIV, if he is also HIV, we can transplant to him. Okay. But if the recipient is not HIV patient and he is having HIV positive, then it cannot that be That is very risky. So those are the blood tests we have to do. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the things are as normal because he will be in the ICU. We will have to only bring him mm -hmm. to the OT and harvest the organ, dispose him mm -hmm. along with the relatives. And next is the person who will receive the organ. Okay. That is a person who is waiting for years mm -hmm. together for organs to come to him mm -hmm. for his survival. Okay. Now, that person will be prepared earlier. Mm -hmm. We have got a waiting list of the person awaiting transplantation separately organ-wise, liver, lung, heart, mm -hmm. kidneys, so like the that. list of uh, candidates list and list and of patients And as far as the list, mm -hmm. this is not being done by me mm -hmm. or by anyone in the hospital authority. This mm -hmm. is done by the NOTO. Okay. That list is with the government of India, Ministry of Health and Family mm -hmm. Welfare. Now they will decide, they will earmark. Now you ask this recipient whether he is ready. If everything goes well, his blood parameters mix with one another, mm -hmm. yes, you can donate to him. But we cannot say, no, uh, he is my relative, so he should get fast okay, so no, that's, that's not, not right. at all done personally not and personally. not at all not done right. in the consent of any personal doctors yes. because it has been clearly and lists have been prepared and it has been clearly done by government of India. Yeah. And most so importantly... those are some of the important things where yeah. people should know that yeah. these are not things like our favoritism is not, not behind these things. And most importantly, I'm mm -hmm. a kidney transplant surgeon. Mm -hmm. In no way... I should be in a picture of this particular procedure. Okay. Okay. As far as the law is concerned, I should not be involved. Neither I should talk with the relatives of the person who is going to donate the kidney, hmm. nor I will be involved in any other procedure except doing the transplant. My okay. job is to do the transplant. Once organ comes, I will do the transplant. I would not bother about who is he hmm. or who is he. Okay, so I those are the talk. procedures which will be talk. completed yeah. and then the I should not talk last. with the relatives of the hmm. person who died, nor try to influence him. Okay, you donate kidney, donate kidney. Okay. Uh, that I can't do. This is my law 
forbid me to talk with them or okay. influence with them. That is the duty of a transplant coordinator. Hmm. The transplant coordinator will talk with the person, motivate with them, okay. constantly will be in touch with the family members mm -hmm. of the organ donor, but not the transplant surgeon. So your job is only to do the surgery, yeah. which will come to you. And yeah. uh, apart from that, those things will be taken care of by the authorities and the yeah. concerned people yeah. who have been given and, the responsibility. Uh, and for the uh, information of the viewers concerned, mm -hmm. I would like to also inform you that being a transplant surgeon, me or any transplant surgeon, hmm. he or she cannot be a part of any government committee related to the transplant. Okay, okay. So why so? Like, uh, why is this? Uh, because uh, if I am in a taken? committee of recommendation, I may influence a person. Okay, you give. There may be some transaction in between. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So law forbids that. Okay, so this has been clearly uh, taken care of yeah, by the government of India. Taken care of by the transplantation of the Human Organ Act, government okay. of India. Okay, so this has been taken care so that uh, people will not have any questions yeah. on doctors and they yeah. won't be having any doubts on doctor. Yeah. But that has to be uh, known by the people because yeah, that, a lot of people not been, no, no, that has not know. been known by they people. Know. They have a, a bad notion or maybe a wrong notion, yeah, notion that uh, things the are being trade. done organ trade or yeah. maybe the there have been some of kind of manipulation, manipulation going on but going on. those things are not as we have clearly mentioned now Dr. Shashank has clearly mentioned in our show that this has been clearly done by the hands and it has been tight-lipped by the doctors and they yeah. have not been allowed to talk to any of the family members on this particular topic and their job is to do only the surgery and apart from that there are a responsibility given to people and they will be taking care of all the responsibility procedures and then the thing is given to the doctors and your yeah. job is only to perform Even the surgery. Even the law forbids declaration or the identity of the donor to the recipient family. Okay. So that is also very yeah, important. Yeah, that is also very down. important. You no, know, one cannot declare that, yes, hmm. this is the person from whom the uh, kidney has been taken and donated to hmm. the person B. No. Hmm. The person B or his family member should not hmm. come to by any way mm -hmm. about the who's and who of the person who has donated. All right. So, doctor, let's talk about the scenario in Assam. Like, yeah. what about the scenario in Assam regarding the organ? Uh, the, the organ, as far as the organ transplantation is concerned, the first thing is I am talking about the kidney transplantation. Mm -hmm. The kidney transplantation are being done at the government sector in Guwahati Medical College Hospital. Okay. We are well equipped to do that. Mm. Apart from that, there are certain private hospitals. They are also doing that, but not independently. Mm -hmm. The people come from outside Delhi, Mumbai or Hyderabad, they come, do the surgery and go back. Mm -hmm. But here in Guwahati Medical College, the, the surgeon from state of Assam are doing kidney transplantation. Okay. That is the beauty of the pack. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as the results of the concern, I can tell you and I can assure you results are at par with any other transplantation, transplantation center in the country or even the world. Mm -hmm. There may be some hiccups in between Absolutely. because transplantation is not an easy job mm -hmm. and those persons are at, at the last stage they come to us. Mm. But thing is that there may be one or two this and that side or patient may die of that. Mm -hmm. But that is with functioning graft. Okay. As far as the function of the graft is concerned, the, all persons who died after transplantation in Guwahati Medical College did not die immediately after surgery. After going back, Met with infection, coming back. It is because of infection they died. Mm -hmm. But their kidney functions remains the same. Okay, so it's that functioning. was also uh, another important question. That what about like what after the surgery? Yeah. What after the uh, transplantation? What are the yeah. things to be taken care of? That is the absolutely most important, to be taken. Yeah, most mm. important thing is that one a person he receives a organ from another one. Mm. He should be on immunosuppressive drugs. Okay. Uh, immunosuppressive drugs suppresses the immune system. Mm. So that person always at exposure for infection. Mm. That is the most important thing he or she should take care of. Mm -hmm. Secondly, checking with the doctors regularly. Okay. Checking the blood level of certain immunosuppressive drugs because mm. that also influences the kidney function. Mm -hmm. Or any person undergoing liver transplantation because recently the liver transplantation are being done at downtown hospital recently it is done in assam also okay so so liver transplant or a kidney transplant person anyone he or she should be always in touch with his transplant surgeon or the transplant team mm -hmm. and also uh, one has to take care about the dietary part the dietary and part also because mm -hmm. in in Guwahati medical college it is the department of the nephrology who take care of everything mm -hmm. they take care of the person before surgery mm -hmm. we do the surgery again send them back they are looking after the patient, mm. they are looking after their blood levels, they are looking after their dietary profile and the regular supply of the uh, medication and uh, the government of Assam is supplying the immunosuppressive drugs to the kidney transplant patient free of cost for mm -hmm. almost last 4-5 years. 
Okay. So, uh, like, on, also, like, they have to be get adjusted and adjusted yeah. and get habituated, habituated with the organ they have got through yeah. and got from someone else's body. So, that is also an important but, thing that... Uh, they they hmm. should consider themselves as a healthy individual. They uh -huh. should not avoid the society. Uh -huh. They should not avoid... That I have been gone together. through a yeah, transplantation, yeah. No, so I am aloof with other yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. They have to be like uh, actively, normal human, normal human being. Normal human being. They were before. Only thing is that they mm -hmm. should take medication properly. Mm -hmm. Should be under strict medical supervision. That's mm -hmm. the point I want to. Regular checkups are very yeah, important. Regular checkups are very important. Okay, and what about the other uh, like family members? What are the things they will have to keep in their mind to take care of the patient take who have gone through? Take care of the through? patient. His diet they should take care of. Mm -hmm. His regular medications. Mm -hmm. That whether he is taking medications or not, he should check his blood pressure. He should check his uh, the. Mm -hmm. The liver function test or the kidney function test very regularly. Okay. And a positive uh, environment yeah, and positive, positive yes. uh, that consultation is, the most is important very important. Thing. That is the, the, it is the duty or the bounden duty of the every family member to support a person who has undergone an organ transplant. Okay. You should not discard them mm -hmm. because most of the time what happens in our family, if the person wants to go to a marriage, no, no, you should not go, you are a transplant patient, you should sit down. No, it's mm -hmm. not like that. He, mm -hmm. can, he can go to a marriage. He can go to a meeting, he mm -hmm. can go to a market, why not? Mm -hmm. He's a normal human being. You can do your regular activities yeah, regular as activity. well, why just not? to take a lot of precautionary measures precautionary. as well in between. Yeah. But uh, regular things can be done in your regular life after you have been gone through a transplantation. That has been clearly said by Dr. Shashank here. And uh, you have to take certain precautionary measures and you have to be under supervision of your doctor who has been doing your treatment. And a lot of things has to be taken care of and yeah. family members play a very important, important role at this point in time. Yeah giving them a morale boost morale and boost, giving yeah. them a, all kind of like a good talks and all kind of like good environment and across right. them. It's the, it's the duty to keep them in a safe environment mm -hmm. and whatever thing a normal person in the family enjoys, he should also enjoy the same thing. Absolutely. And uh, what about like uh, there must be a lot of uh, counselling going on also in the hospitals as yeah. well. Like uh, suppose if a person has to go through a transplantation, a yeah. lot of confusions, a lot of questions might yeah, arise sure. in their mind yeah. and a lot of like uh, things might be struggling in his mind. Like a yeah. lot of uh, institutions and a lot of like uh, discussions must have been done in the yeah. society as yeah, well. Yeah, we have got so those coordinator. Yeah. So how you counsel those uh, persons and patients and what kind of like departments have been hosted up? Uh, so every department must have transplant department must have the transplant coordinator. Mm -hmm. Now it is the duty of the transplant coordinator to talk to the person, mm. find out what is the reason why he needs a transplant, find out who is the donor, find out what is the mental condition of the donor. He, she has to be taken into confidence that is it she, he or she really wants to donate or under some pressure. So that okay. has to be taken out. Mm -hmm. So everything taken into consideration. The team will also talk with the person, hmm. will explain it to them, you need a transplant, but this is a very tedious surgery, complicated surgery. We are doing it for your best, hmm. but sometimes it may not happen. Because an organ from another person, your body may not take in, in spite of taking so much of care. Right. So that we have to explain to the person, so mm. that counselling is very important. Mm -hmm. Counselling is very important and early things, uh, telling the information yeah. and telling proper information proper regarding information everything, important. like as you just mentioned that uh, you have to take an organ from the other person, other person. may or may not, may it not might take. function. Yeah. So those pros and cons has to be uh, given information, proper information should be given to the patient, yeah. isn't it? So uh, on that note, uh, how do the uh, parents and how do the uh, people react at this point in time? that if uh, if uh, there are lots of uh, merits and demerits then should I go for the transplantation or not? These are the person who has seen the worst days in their life. Hmm. They are always searching for the light of hope. Hmm. And the light of hope is the person who volunteers to donate the organ, be it his mother, father or any relative. Hmm. So at that point of time, hmm. they don't bother about all these things. Okay. They want an organ, if anybody, they say, it, okay, fine, doctor, hmm. you do it. Rest is up to God. Yes, rest is up to God. Rest but is most up to God. But time, we have to take the risk. Very rarely it may fail. Very rarely the body may reject. We All call right. it hyperacute rejection. All right, uh, doctor, we have a phone call, so okay. let's take the phone. Uh, hello. Hello. Oh, uh, apna prastu to korebo. Hello. Moor prastu to hoyche saror ko program to saaye so. Saror program to ma saaye so. Bura saror program. Ah. Ma chakedo ta ma ishiki chau kori siro. Uh, 
কি আসলে বলি কলা বিশেষ করে মই ডাইরেক্টলি কথা হবো পারে নাই যে মোর এই যেটো রোগ এই নিরাময়ের ব্যবস্থা তো কি আছে কি হবো পারে আপনার আপনার অসুখ তো কি আছেলে কবো নাকি মোর অসুখ তো আছে ইউরোলজিক্যাল টিকচার বলি কয় আ হা হা আপনার যেটো অসুখ আছে সেইটো অসুখর কারণে আপনার যে দাল মুত্রদাডাল সমূলনছে ধ্বংস হয়ে গেছে আর এই মুত্রদাডাল সমূলনছে ধ্বংস হয়ে গেলে সেই দাল তো শরীরৰ পৰা কাটি পেলাই পেলাই দিব নোৱাৰি সেই কারণে ইয়াক রিপেয়ার কৰি দিয়াৰ পিছত মাঝে মাঝে আপুনি সদাই চেকআপ কৰি থাকিব লাগে আৰু আপোনাক যন্ত্র ভৰাই পেলাই সেই দাল মাঝে মাঝে চাই থাকিব লাগে কি আকৌ সাপ খাই গৈছে নেকি কাৰণ এবাৰ ধ্বংস হৈ যোৱা অৰগেনটো পুনৰ আকৌ নতুন হৈ নুঠে সেই কাৰণে আপোনাক ৰেগুলার চেকআপ কৰি থকা গৈছে আৰু 91 ৰ পৰা আপুনি যে কৈছে যে ষ্ট্ৰিকচাৰ ডিজিজ আছে সেই কাৰণে হৈছে এটো যি কোনো অস্ত্ৰোপচাৰে নকৰক কিয় আপোনাৰ কিন্তু ডক্টৰৰ লগত চেকআপটো খুবেই বাঞ্চনীয় আৰু আপুনি মাঝে মাঝে আহি যন্ত্র দিপলাই আমি এটো সোৱাটো অতি জৰুৰী অল ৰাইট অল ৰাইট থ্যাংক ইউ সো মাচ ফৰ কলিং সো দিস ইজ ওয়ান পেচেন্ট মেবি ইউ হ্যাভ হেভিং ষ্ট্ৰিকচাৰ ইউৰথ আই দিস ইজ এ মোস্ট ডেবিলিটেটিং এণ্ড ডিভাসটেটিং কন্ডিশন ইউৰোলজিক্যাল কন্ডিশন হোৱাৰ দি এণ্টি ইউৰেথ্ৰ গট ডেস্ট্ৰয়েড বিকজ অফ সাম ইনফেকচন অৰ বিকজ অফ সাম ট্ৰমা নাও ইটছ নট জাস্ট লাইক দ্যাট ইউ কেন কাট ইট এণ্ড সেন্ড ইট নো ইউ কেন নট ডু দ্যাট সো হোৱাট উই ডু উই ৰিপেয়ার দ্যাট বাট ইভেন ইফ দ্যাট দ্য টিস্যুজ বিকামস ডেমেজড সো দ্যাট ডেমেজড টিস্যু কেন নট ৰিপ্লেচ ওকে সো দ্যাট chances of again stenosis again comes so therefore you ask the patient to be with the urologist regular check up regular mm-hmm. with the dilatation and patient will come all right okay okay so what kind of problems they face uh, like they face they cannot urinate okay they cannot urinate they cannot pass urine their urinary stream become very uh, narrow mm-hmm. and uh, they have suffers from repeated urinary tract infection sometimes uh, their whole bladder get distended and suddenly urine stops Okay so is it a like this frequent is, disease is, or is, is a very is rare the, disease not rare it is very common and this ah. is because of the negligence negligence okay. it is the part of the negligence from the patient and they end up into that uh, situation where you cannot come back so is it anything related to the prostate gland like uh, no, it's uh, not like if it is not treated gland. yeah no it's not related to the mm-hmm. prostate gland it is uh, uh, the urethra because mm-hmm. male urethra is very lengthy it is almost 20 cm mm-hmm. so we have seen almost whole of the urethra sometimes got damaged okay. and this is because of the negligence because most of the time uh, people have burning mixation go to a pharmacy he mm-hmm. gives a antibiotic takes it get a placebo effect okay i'm getting all right mm-hmm. neglect 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 and keep mm-hmm. on neglecting at a time when they land up at guwahati medical college it's totally Damage. Okay, so that is what we always tell our viewers that if any kind of signs and symptoms related to any kind of disease, if you find in your body which is not uh, taking a good care of yours, so you have to immediately go and see a physician which is uh, prescribed for the yeah. particular disease, and immediately so that the treatment can start at the earliest, yeah. and you will be relieved uh, at the earliest, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, uh, strixa urethra. We have got a lot of other treatment modalities also because mm-hmm. we have got a lot of uh, urethroplasty or the surgical procedures are there. But thing is that patients should come. Early. Mm-hmm. and should be on regular checkup that on is the regular. most important things which i always emphasize on my patient this has also become a very uh, common notion in our society that yeah. if things get okay then uh, you leave uh, forget uh, you forget it you and forget you find it. that i'm okay now but unless and until it gives you again back yeah. then you again go to the doctors and maybe the time doesn't p- provide yeah, you sometimes sometimes hmm. it's it's, it's uh, uh, the condition becomes so horrible that we can't do anything now right except that we have to put a uh, put a pipe through the mm-hmm. abdomen and by, by, bypass the urine mm-hmm. all right doctor uh, we have uh, like a few some minutes left uh, okay. and we had a fruitful discussion on the organ failure but uh, we want to talk about some other urological disease and kidney stone and yeah. stone disease is one of the most, most common, common. Yeah. thing which we have seen so and we have uh, seen in other households and they also get to stand that uh, why uh, these kidney stone occurs what are the signs and symptoms and what about the uh, treatment so let's talk about those yeah. things as well no no kidney stone cause is multifactorial multifactorial number 1 it may comes in family number 2 it may be because of the dietary habit okay number 3 it may be because of consuming less amount of the fluid hmm. number 4 you may have some metabolic disorders number 5 i have already to talk about diabetes those people who are diabetic they are more likely to have stone disease okay and there are some other metabolic disorders which are not very common they also uh, can contribute and people living in very hot and humid areas mm-hmm. they are also subjected to a uh, stone formation in the kidney now the first thing uh, the patient will experience is this severe pain hmm. now that pain occurs only when the stone drops down to the ureter from the kidney it okay. blocks mm-hmm. otherwise a stone may grow to a bigger size without producing any symptoms that is the irony oh a patient may not know mm-hmm. and by the time he end up with a urologist he will mm-hmm. find that this must be a stagon stone within his kidney okay so oh, there is things become complicated at the point mm-hmm. of time so therefore if the patient 
or the if we make a habit of checking ourselves hmm. doing an ultrasound every yearly at least we mm -hmm. can find it out you can detect it early mm -hmm. because very very small stone three millimeters stone four millimeters stone that doesn't need treatment mm -hmm. that needs only follow-up mm -hmm. and when drugs we prescribe okay. that take care and sometimes uh, we have also seen and we have uh, heard complaints from some of the viewers and we have heard complaints that uh, they have a uh, like lot of pain or maybe sometimes pains in their lower abdomen yeah. and they think that it is uh, a form of gastritis yeah so gastritis has become a very common yeah. uh, thing so they take my uh, pain kill Get yes. relief, forget so, it. But if it is again continuing, it is again yeah. coming back, then they should immediately go and see a physician. I think the kidney stone pain is very typical. If a person typical. comes to me, huh. say just two words in front of me, that this is the type of pain, here is the pain, hmm. I can easily assume that he is having a kidney stone. No okay. doubt about it. Okay. So, how is the pain? Like, is it, uh, does it's it occur severe, every time? Does it's it... severe, excruciating pain, hmm. just like a colicky pain occurring episodic way, mm -hmm. patient will toss about in the bed or in the floor, you okay. will not get relief, mm -hmm. you will have invariably vomiting mm -hmm. <coughs> and sometimes the pain may refer to the lower ab abdomen even up to the testicles in case of male. Okay. So this is the typical pain of the uh, kidney stone mm -hmm. or aortic stone and mm -hmm. easily can be diagnosed. If you do an ultrasound, can easily be diagnosed. Of course, sometimes there are some stones which cannot be diagnosed mm -hmm. uh, with the ultrasound mm -hmm. and patient will have to undergo uh, plain CT scan to detect that. So, are there any kinds of like kidney stones and uh, if you need to just uh, differentiate between them or is it uh, like uh, something related to the medical term? Uh, means there are different terms, uh, terms. terms are uh, uh, there in the medical forms, mm -hmm. uh, but one is for kidney, stones forms in the kidney, mm. stones in the ureter, stones mm. in the bladder. Okay. There are three areas where the stone can form and mm -hmm. uh, stone can be found. Mostly mm -hmm. a patient comes with pain when stone drops down to the ureter. Okay. And that can be detected very mm -hmm. simply with an ultrasound or a CT scan. Mm -hmm. Now as far as the treatment is concerned, the treatments are available. Mm -hmm. Earlier we used to do open surgery, now also we can do if patient wants or patient is a very uh, lower socioeconomic chemistry standards cannot afford to do but most of the time we do and tackle this stone now endoscopically. If it mm -hmm. is in a kidney we can uh, go for a keyhole surgery called PCNL if it is in the or we can do a laser surgery with the help of an endoscope. Mm -hmm. If it is in a ureter we can do endoscopic surgery in the bladder endoscopic surgery so a lot of modern treatments are available and mm -hmm. here in the and nowadays uh, a lot of equipments have yeah, been developed yeah, and technologicals yeah, yeah. have been a lot advanced of these days but and most important hmm. most important i would like to impress upon the viewers is that if hmm. you are suffering from the kidney stone hmm. once it is treated don't forget to get yourself checked up every yearly okay because this is most notorious for recurrence okay one if you are suffering from kidney stone hmm. again it will form there are 50 to 70 percent chance that next five years you will again form the stones. Okay. And this is particularly so with the person who are diabetic. Okay. So regular checkups regular and regular check internal checkups are very important and for the person who have plenty of fluid. Mm. Plenty of fluid means at least minimum 2.5 to 3 liters of fluid a day. Okay. That is 10 to 12 glass per day. Mm -hmm. That is mandatory. All right. Uh, so a lot of like treatments as you have mentioned about the leposcopy and yeah. also the uh, surgery. Endoscopy. Uh, surgery uh, endoscopy. Yeah. So is, uh, it, is it uh, like seen mostly in women or men? Like if see, you talk about uh, the gender equality. If we see it about as far as the gender is concerned, hmm. it is more prevalent among male population. Hmm. But of late, we have seen hmm. tremendous surge in occurrence of kidney stones among female also. Mm -hmm. So there may be some hormonal factors. Hmm. We, have, we, uh, we have also studied this effect of some hormone on the kidney stone formation in the females in Gohan Medical College. Mm -hmm. So uh, there may be some hormonal factor that also influence the occurrence of stones among the female population also. All right. So we, earlier we used to see only in males, but nowadays yeah. like mm -hmm. we, we can't say actually yeah. about the diseases. Like nowadays things have become so common yeah, very and common. a lot of informations have been also been provided on internet and that is also one kind of concern. Like people yeah. when patients when come to your hospitals yeah. or come to you, they have a lot of information in their mind because they have uh, studied a lot or maybe researched a lot but on internet. See, our treatment are always individuals. Mm -hmm. In internet or in the, if we go for a Google search, they mm -hmm. give everything. Mm -hmm. And the most important and the complicated things are written first. When people come with the symptoms of passage of urine in the blood, a 20-year-old boy will come, so I may be having cancer. Mm -hmm. So you may not. Mm -hmm. So in 20-year-old boy, I think the most common cause is the, the stone disease. Mm -hmm. So that's how we differentiate all about. Mm -hmm. uh, urging the people not to go and 
Google says everything and mm -hmm. more rely on the your doctors. Mm -hmm. Like uh, taking information is not bad, but taking uh, like a lot of information and just sticking to that and not taking advice, yeah, from, advice others from others is uh, another dangerous thing because yeah, like you might have a lot of confusion in your mind. You might not uh, approach anyone to talk about and this is one kind of thing we have seen in our society and yeah. also in our younger generations as well. And lifestyle is the major, major factor. Major problem. This like, uh, kidney this is, stone. It's yeah. a lifestyle disease. You have to change your lifestyle. You should take less amount of salt, mm. less protein diet, mm. high amount of water, should take sour fruits like, you know, lemon. Mm. It's very commonly available. Mm. If you take the fruits which contain citric acid, that prevents the stone formation. Okay. So these are the common things which, and we should avoid certain things which uh, potentiate the formation of the stone within the kidney. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you talk about the diabetic person, like yeah. you said that it uh, attacks your kidneys. So yeah. like if it is like initially they have just come to know that uh, it has just attacked my kidney. So yeah. what are the precautionary measures that person can take? Most important thing is the consultation with a diabetologist. Mm -hmm. Adhering to the principles, adhering to the drugs that been prescribed to him regularly, he or she should do exercise, physical activity, hmm. at least walking, morning walk, brisk morning walking, mm -hmm. at least half an hour to one hour per day. Okay. Should not consume high amount of carbohydrate diet. Mm -hmm. Should have a diet list hmm. from the doctor concerned hmm. and also regular blood sugar checkup. Okay. If a person adhered to these principles, hmm. he or she will not land up into a complication of diabetes mellitus. Okay. So these are some of the things, basic things, basic things. a diabetic person can take up yeah. and uh, if, it, uh, if the person has been prescribed with some medicines, yeah. it has to be taken regularly. under regularly. Yeah. Okay, that has to be taken regularly and if you need to stop it and if you feel like uh, if you have a checkup and you found that your diabetes is fine, but it doesn't mean that you have to stop no, the medicine. No, one should not. Without mm -hmm. any medical supervision, one should not stop any form of medication for any, any disease. Mm -hmm. So medicines on time is very important viewers and uh, like regular interval checkups are very important for you and uh, the ones uh, who are diabetic they have to take a very uh, good care of themselves and family members play a very important role important, in this. Yes, the family member also should be, they should be also alert, should not encourage him. Hmm to do the things which he should not do. Okay, and it should not also tell things uh, frequently that yeah. you should not do, do this the, yeah, or that because that, that can be, give a... Yeah, yeah. they should not always... Should not create any panic. Mechanic panic. panic. Uh -huh. no, that's the normal life. Mm -hmm. Only thing is that you should adhere to the principles of the medical facilities or the medical advice which has been provided to you by the diabetic. All right. Specialist. All right, uh, Doctor. Indeed, we had a fruitful discussion and there were lots of things to touch upon, but uh, time is not allowing us. So, thank you so much thank for you. coming to our show. And uh, viewers, with this, we have uh, come to the end of the show and uh, we hope that we were able to answer all your queries in the best possible way. And in our next episode, we will be discussing on some other important health issues. So, if you have any queries, do join us next Sunday at 5 p.m. live. Until then, stay healthy, stay fit and keep watching Northeast Live. Goodbye.